these folks coming out here today. It's awesome. This is what community is about. Today is a qualitative and quantitative leap forward where we're taking action to reclaim our community. What we're doing today is disrupting the power structure. Are y'all in favor of that? Yeah! Let's go! Hello, hello, Occupy! Let's Free the land! Free the people! Free the land! Free the people! What do you see when you look around and you see all these people here on your behalf? Oh man, I see a wonderful community of people that came together so that we can actually feel the community So what's the plan now? What's the plan here? To move back in! You guys gotta understand the historical importance of what's happening right now. This is not just a rally. This is decisive action to take control of our lives and to thumb our nose at the crooks and criminals that run this society. Yeah, on May Day, uh... The community organized to take this house back and move Alicia Jackson back into her house. Since then, we have been on 24-7 watch of this house to defend it. Uh, we have a rapid response network set up to make sure that if the pigs do try to come and take this house, we're ready to fight them off. We're defending the space um, for a number of reasons. One, to protect Alicia Jackson's land. And two, because Alicia Jackson is part of a bigger movement against gentrification and police brutality in this neighborhood. You have people um probably in a, a pretty secure economic class. They've got college education and they have a secure income. They're able to come in and get loans and buy up homes uh, that people have been raised in and, uh, and they're made easier. When I went to get a loan for a house, they told me I was pre-approved for 200,000. I said, good, can I buy one in my neighborhood? Which is this neighborhood. They said, no. We Are Oregon is a coalition of labor and community folks to come together and said enough that um, using direct action and community support, we're going to stand up to banks, not be kicked out of our homes. This is about people being able to live, and I think Miss Steele is a perfect example of this. There's a lady that's been an asset to the community, helping to raise children. I thank everybody here, because we are human beings, and we need a place to stay. That's right. And I will not leave this house. There is a huge financial failure that people like Annette and other Americans all over the country were preyed upon by bad loans. They've been taken advantage of, while banks have gotten bailouts and have made huge profits off of the losses that people have seen. When we've looked at people's mortgages, we've seen banks that forged signatures, there's multiple trustees, it's just invalid, it's illegal. The economy has hurt all of us. Some of us bought homes because we were sold homes on the idea that by the home values continuing to go up, we would gain equity in the home. And we could just refinance after a couple of years and we'd be ahead of the game. That's one of the processes that was used at, 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 to further the gentrification of this neighborhood. Gentrification is the process when wealthier residents move into a usually lower class, usually people of color neighborhood, and uh, through a system of bad credit loans and unscrupulous developers coming in, taking up houses, flipping houses over. The original residents are replaced by the wealthier residents. Residents. Housing prices go up uh, and the original residents are pushed out. When I came here, it was a whole lot of uh, <coughs> black people. But now, kind of, even kind of now. We're gathering a movement of people who are committed to resisting gentrification and police brutality in this neighborhood. We have to realize that individually we are extremely weak, and since problems like gentrification, police brutality, are collective problems, we can only solve these things collectively. So, collectively, you can see that we're unevictable. This is just the first time this is going to happen. We're going to be reclaiming cities, yeah. countries, yeah. society. It's our time to do it. We have to stand up to these banks, yeah. and we have to stay in our homes. Yeah. We have to support people like Alicia, yeah. who are taking a stand. We can do this together if we do not move out of our homes, and I'm not moving out of my home. Rise Up works to aid the dismantling of capitalism, overthrowing oppression, and creating a better world from the ashes of a dying empire.